my plan today was to spend the whole day here in my art room doing art stuff. Um, I have a project that I need to get done and I'm stuck on it. It is um, it's for a journal page swap. It's this swap group thing that I'm in and it's just a monthly thing where you know we send out a journal page once a month and then we get one back. You know it's really easy. Not a, a huge commitment. But usually by this time if I'm not half finished with my page already I mean I at least have an idea. But for this month, I got nothing. Um, so I, I came up here and thought, well, maybe if I just piddle around in my art room, you know, something will come to me. Because a lot of times that works. It didn't work this time. So I still got nothing. So I thought I would tell y'all what the um, theme is for this month. And maybe somebody out there will have some kind of a good idea for the for my page or, you know, spark something that will send me in a, a direction that I can work with because I, I can't work with anything that I've got right now. You want to know what I've got? Okay, first of all, here's the thing. The thing for this month is, are you challenging me? Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty broad, really. And it's, you know, it's a relaxed group. If, if I wanted to just ditch the theme, do my own thing, that would be fine. But I'm really trying to do something within the the theme that's set every month, but this one I don't I don't really know, um, and I've tried to interpret it in lots of different ways, which can be done, but I'm I'm not getting a visual to go with it. So in fact, when I think of Are you challenging me? You want to know the first thing that comes to mind? This is the only visual that that I get when I think of that. And because I have this one visual, I'm stuck on it. I can't think of anything else. Here's what popped into my head. Yeah. Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? You know, he does that whole thing. That is all I can think of when I think of the phrase, are you challenging me? <laughs> it's him. And I'm stuck on that. And look, look how cute he is. He was just a child back then. Look at that. Just a baby. So anyway, yeah, that's all I have. I have a goofy visual of De Niro in Taxi Driver. And um, I may just have to stick him on my journal page and work with it because i got nothing else. So if you can think of something else, let me know. Because um, it starts there and it just gets worse for me. So, I don't know what to do. Um, and I did, in the process of, you know, piddling around my art room, I did actually come up with something kind of constructive that I can show you. Well, this is not really constructive, but it's about par. I cut myself on a roll of duct tape. I am not making that up. And I, I'm very accident prone, and I know this. Who cut some stuff on duct tape? It was just a roll of duct tape. And I pulled it out, and I guess the cardboard, I, I don't know what happened. I, I like I bled and everything. So I cut myself on duct tape. And I'm using a, you know, a utility knife to cut some things up, and there's always danger in that. But apparently the duct tape is the danger item for me today. Um, let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, this is my little, and I know I've shown this before, so I won't, I won't go into a lot of detail. But this is my um, little area. Somebody called it like a project life set up for giants, which just cracked me up. But it's my junk mail, scrapbook paper, hoarding section. And I just use scrap you know, boxes, uh, save cardboard boxes when they come in, and, and I cut them down to whatever size and shape I need, and, you know, it works for me. I like it. But um, I had added some things recently, and or some stacks of stuff that were just kind of piled into one of those slot things there that really needed to be separated out and, and um, organized better. So that, of course, led me to just kind of rearranging the whole thing. But here is the little idea that I came up with. 
Um, okay, I'm going to have to fix the camera. Hang on. One of the things that I needed to find a new place for was this stack of um, papers that I have. It's like graph paper and, and ledger sheets and carbon paper and, you know, just weird, weird paper things. And um, I had them at the bottom of a stack of some other papers, which of course meant that I never used these because I didn't see them and couldn't get to them. So I needed something different. I prefer vertical, you know, things to sit up like this so I can flip through them. But because of limited space, sometimes I do have to go horizontal and just stack stuff. So here's what I came up with. I went out in the garage and was looking at some of the boxes that I... Uh, I keep thinking that I might, I don't keep every box that comes into the house, but I keep a lot of them. Certain ones that I think I might actually get some good use out of. And some that I've been keeping are these pizza boxes. And we have this great pizza place in town that we eat at on occasion. It's called Wood Fired Pizza. And it's one of those, you know, like gourmet pizza shops. They do, you know, fancy frou frou pizzas. And um, they sometimes we get it and bring it home. And the boxes, these are the boxes that they use. But their pizzas are so awesome, like they don't leave a big grease spot. They're, they're not greasy at all. So the boxes are always really clean and reusable. So, you know, heck yeah, I'm going to reuse them. I don't know for what, but... Um, I just started cutting one just to see what I could come up with and I, I made this little, um, this is just one pizza box that I just kind of reconfigured into this little, uh, what would you call that, holder I guess. But anyway, these, these fit just right down in there like that, which can be stored like this, or I can stack several of them like that. So I'm going to see how that works. And you know, that's the one thing I love about using these cardboard boxes is that if I don't like it, if something doesn't work for me, or if I want to change it or rearrange it, it's simple and it's free. Um, you know, I would much rather do that than invest in some kind of storage system that I'm stuck with. Even modular, you know, modular storage is great, but it still has some limitations. So anyway, I'll show you how I made that one, because I need another one. Okay. And I will try not to brandish my um, weapon here. I, I made a lot of people really nervous <laughs> in the last video that I did that in. I swear to you, I did not realize I was doing it. But after I watched the video, I went, oh, dang, that even makes me nervous watching it. So I will try to stay focused while I'm holding the instrument of death. Um, first thing, this is, you know, this is how the box, yeah. this is how the box comes. I just opened it up. And first thing I did was cut the lid off on this hinge right here. And I just left this one to make the bottom a little bit longer so that it would hold, you know, it would have just a little bit more support for full size sheets of paper. See what I'm saying? So, whack it off right there. And you can do this with you know, any relatively clean pizza box or any kind of box with this shape. I have some also that I got not too long ago that are like this, but they were cookies. It was some fundraiser um, cookie dough that my husband got from, you know, somebody at work who was selling it for their kid. And it's got the same basic design. So, you know, you could use something like that. But, um, the first one that I made, I started out by, I just taped this over so that it would, you know, be one tall piece. I decided that was stupid. I didn't need these little things, so I ended up just whacking them off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it carefully. This makes you nervous. Shut your eyes. There we 
Okay. So, now I've got that. And to make it um, so that I can stand it up, I'm taking off my band-aid because it's coming off anyway. I think I'm good. Yeah. And, you know, this, this is good. But even to stack them, you know, you need some kind of something right here so that you can stack them better because, you know, they're just not quite going to stack right when they're exactly the same size. You've got to have some kind of little support there. So I started, I took the lid and started playing with it and decided that if I put it on here like this and cut that part off or even leave that part on then I can do this. And I suppose, okay, now that I look at it, I guess I went through a lot of trouble and didn't really have to... No, because that's where I wanted it. I was fixing to say that was really stupid to cut the lid off when I could have left the box whole and then just cut that part, but that's the same thing as what I did. Okay, yeah, I'm confusing myself. This is good. We're good. You may find a better way. I'm just showing you what works for me. So, we have this. I don't need this flap right here. If you wanted to leave it and put it, you know, down at the bottom for extra support or whatever, you could. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I just don't really think it's necessary. So, I am going to whack it off. There we go. So, now I've got that, and I'm going to take whatever kind of sticky stuff I have handy, which today happens to be the ATG gun, and I'm just going to put some sticky on it. Now you have either stand-up paper storage doohickeys made out of pizza boxes, or you can stack them. And I kind of like this because, you know, this is an unusually long piece. Well, see, I need to take that out of there. And then it would fit. It would work better because these little things are almost like divider tabs where you can write on here what you've got in here. Um, so it's like instant divider tabs. Or they will work just fine stacked like that too. So there you go. So I didn't get much art done today but I did come up with a good um, storage solution and I'm going to go ahead and um, finish those and then get them stacked over here you know however I think they're going to look best and then I'll show you that when I'm done okay I got everything arranged the way I want it I think let me move the camera over here closer so you can see and I'm going to have to ditch the tripod okay um, yeah, it, it turned out good. Tell me. Sorry. Um, these are the pizza boxes, which are just working perfectly for what I need. I even have an empty one back there, because, you know, room to grow, and... Um, these were causing me a problem with my other maps. These are those like, National Geographic maps. And I had them stored with some of the other ones, and it was just throwing everything off. I, I was not happy. So I found another box and um, cut it down a little bit, and they fit just right in there. And I've got little um, journaling spots and die cuts and index tabby things in there 
and that's still the same and this okay this right here I have to have a place to stack stuff that's waiting to be put in its home <laughs> you know because I don't always put stuff away immediately but if I have a place to put it while it's waiting to be put away that helps because at least it's not strung out all over the place so this is like my my to be filed section where these things all go in a different place I just haven't put them there yet and this is not ideal but I just stuck it here because you know I'm, it's going to be something that I have to pick up and move around anyway so it just sits on top of here and this is the other new file that I made for um, this is a lot of vintage recipes and cookbooks and stuff and loose book pages and uh, these are the maps besides National Geographic that are not National Geographic and then those are some foreign language newspapers and stuff so there's that and then nothing over there has changed so anyway I like it. Um, I think this is going to work much better for now. And everything that was there is still there except for these books that I took out because they were in a thing that I couldn't even see. And you know, if I can't see it, I won't use them because I can't see them and I forget about them. But they're just loose journals and stuff that I've bought at discount stores that I usually use parts and pieces of. So I just stuck them in that empty drawer so they're easy to get to. I can't see them still, but they're um, easier to get to. And they're kind of on my mind because I have another whole drawer full of journals in this desk thing. So, you know, I kind of know they're there. I think that that'll work better. Plus... I now have room in my bins to pull pages out of those journals and stick up here so that I can use their parts and pieces. So there we go. Now in my um, cleaning process, I still don't have a better picture of um, the Are You Challenging Me theme. Yeah, that didn't come to me. But a couple other things did. One thing is, I'm going to get back on the tripod now because I've got things to say. There we go. Okay. Okay, two things. One is, I have been looking a lot lately. I've been noticing a lot of videos on a file effects systems and people showing how they set up their file effects. So I thought that I would show how I set up my file effects. Do you want to see? Yeah, I don't use one. <laughs> this um, this is great for if you need it, if you're the kind of person, you know, if you if you work, if you're a professional person, or if this is just your preferred mode to keep up with stuff, then I say more power to you. You know, buy your the nicest file effects you can afford and then do what you want inside. For me, I'm not at that point in my life. I'm kind of, you know, retired, semi-retired, and even though I am pretty equally right and left-brained, because sometimes I am hyper-organized, as you can see, but then other times I do have that kind of artist thing that happens where I can't even string a coherent sentence together, so, um, you know, I, all I see is colors. <laughs> and, yeah, anyway. I, um, this doesn't work for me, um, and it's, um, I'm really surprised that it does work at all for, for creatives, um, even those like myself that are pretty equally right and left-brained because it's, you know, the ones that I've seen are basically like, um, it's a day planner thing, you know, a file effects or whatever with colored pens and stickers. That doesn't do much for me. Um, maybe it would if I, if I really had to use something like this, you know, then definitely colored pens and stickers would make me happy. But, um, it, you know, at this point in my life, I don't need this format. I would much rather have a, you know, a junky, smashy 
date book thing than this and so I got this out anyway and I bought this at a thrift store a while back and I don't know paid maybe a couple of dollars for it and I thought well since I've got it and since that seems to be a thing now I might actually try to use it or or turn it into something that that I would have fun using so I'm going to think about it I'm going to see what I can come up with um, this just yeah this doesn't look fun to me to use at all so I'm gonna I pulled this out and I'm gonna chew on this and see what I come up with and uh, you know I still don't see myself ever using a date book in, in this format I can't this is so ugly and, and I don't care how pretty they are you know even the the purple leather I'm sorry they're still ugly to me it just does not float my boat <laughs> I can't get excited about this there was a time when oh heck yeah I could get excited about this and I kept these things like my entire life was in one of these things but I'm just not I'm not there anymore so um going back to something like this feels like a step backwards to me but it's something that I'm willing you know certainly willing to try since it seems to be a lot of people are enjoying it right now so I don't know I want you on that another thing I found was and I have a few of these was my daughter went to Sephora the other day and she got us something I don't remember nail polish or whatever I like their bags um, I like their little thing, their little logo. I like the, you know, what they got going on here. It's a nice, fairly heavy, glossy bag. And you know what? I think it needs to be a book. I can just see this as a book. So I'm going to um, play with this and see if I can make some kind of little book or journal or junk journal out of a Sephora bag. I might make a bag book and use that as the cover. Well, I don't know. So, that was my other thing that I came up with. And, um, yeah, if you can, if you can help me out with the, um, with my theme for the journal page, are you challenging me? Let me know. Otherwise, I am going to be forced to go with this. You know, I mean, not that that's a bad thing, but still, I don't even know what to do with that. So, um, yeah, help me out there if you can.